today's HubSpot hack, I'm going to be teaching how to create your own custom quote template. Now, while you can create quotes on the sales starter hub, it does require either professional or enterprise if you want to create a custom template like I'm going to be showing you today. So first things first, we're going to want to log into our HubSpot account and click the gear icon at the top right to get to our portal settings and navigate on the left hand side down to your objects drop down and click on quotes. So the first thing it does is ask you um, some questions about the different default settings you might want. So the number of days after a quote is created that you'll want these to expire. And if you are on enterprise, you do have the ability to require all quotes to be approved. If you do want to turn that on, you can choose which user in your HubSpot account you would want to be the person who has to approve all the quotes. That is an enterprise only feature. But if we go over to quote templates here, you can see I've played around with this quite a bit. Um, but we can customize our own quote template and choose from some of the default templates that HubSpot gives you. So we have a handful to work with. We're going to be using the original one today. That's what we're going to be building off of. And just like that, we're inside of our, our quote builder. So it does pull from some default settings in your portal. If you've added your colors or added your logos, that's what you're seeing here. There are ways to override this and customize a little bit more. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. If you click logo over on your left hand side, you can override default logo and either upload a fresh logo or browse from other files that you may have uploaded before. Like we have our HubSpot hack logo here. And I'm just going to make this uh, make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And if we want to change the font type, text color, background images and things like that, you can do that by navigating to settings and scrolling down to edit your theme settings. So this does edit your theme for all of your quote templates. So if you have a number of quote templates, just be careful what you're doing here, making sure you're understanding that you can see it will be publishing to three different assets that I have in my account. But here we can change our global colors. We want to change our primary color to a little bit darker blue. We want to change our font from Helvetica to impact change the way our, our buttons are appearing. Maybe we want them to be a, you know, some sort of green color. You can do anything that you want here. And then our banner settings, if you want our banner font um, to be different, you can do that as well. So this is where you would, um, again, ed edit the colors, the text and the, the font um, in your quotes. So we're going to go back to our quote template here. And um, there's a lot of different I guess you could call the modules here on this quote that you can edit or you can choose to remove. So say for example, we have quote created and our reference number. We're not too interested in our reference number. We wanna hide that here from our module. You just hover over it and you'll see this little eye icon, slash it out um, and click on it and it will hide that from your quote. You can see our little comment section here. This is great if you wanna add a personal touch to your quotes. Say though your sales reps aren't, don't do that too often or aren't interested in it. You can hide who's leaving the comments or this comment section entirely. It's also worth noting that uh, to create a quote, it does need to be associated to a deal within HubSpot, and it is pulling some information from that deal. For example, the company information that it's gonna show here, and the recipients are pulling from those deals associated contacts. And if you wanna edit which information is appearing, just click into the buyer company, say we don't wanna, uh, say we only wanna have the company name appear, and for the contacts, we want to add job title. There's just simple check marks that you can um, add in and it'll show up here in this top banner. Scrolling down, um, HubSpot quotes can be used a couple different ways. They can be used for e-signatures. They can be used to collect HubSpot payments, which we have another video about that you can check here, um, or just to, per, per, to do neither and just present the quote. But you can customize um, the payment sections, the signature areas here um, on these quotes. And the, the big one is actually this line items table. So if we click in here um, in this line items table, this is actually pulling from which products you're showing on the quote. If you're not familiar with HubSpot products, we have another video again on how you can add your products to HubSpot. So check that one out because um, this line item section is pulling from the products and services that you've added into your HubSpot account. But right now we just have um, two columns here. We have the, the actual item that we're selling and the, the cost of it. So say we want to add in something else. Say we do want to add in a billing frequency here and we'll just name that billing frequency. So that's what shows up on our template and go back to our line items table and put that one here right in the middle. So we have our billing frequency. So if it is just a one-time payment, 
if it is a monthly payment or something that's annual, um, the person receiving this quote is going to know how frequently they'll have to pay for this item. Um, looks like there is no actual headers here, so I'll probably just remove this billing frequency here to make this quote look a little bit cleaner. We can add more line items or, or more columns on this line items table um, or remove some if we wanted to. And then there are some extra settings down here like subtotals, other fees, maybe your, your team's not working with taxes or other fees or things like that and you want to hide that here, you can just check this off and you'll see that it gets taken off the quote. So going back here at the bottom, there is a term section. You can add terms when you're actually creating the quote, but say you have some pretty standard terms. They're not changing from customer to customer or from quote to quote. You can come in here um, and add in your other terms. So you can actually also have this pull in from some personalization tokens associated to the deal. So say for example, um, we wanna personalize this and say quote expires on and grab our personalization token change the type to B for the quote and search for our expiration date. We can insert the quotes expiration date down here in the terms. So if you have pretty standard terms, it does make a lot of sense to add them here. Otherwise, um, you can add them a little bit later on. So we're gonna take one last look over this. We have our terms, we have our sections, if they're gonna be paying or if they're gonna be signing, we're happy with our line items. We're just gonna go ahead and save this. And now our quote template's ready to go. So I hope you found this HubSpot hack useful. Check out our next video to see how to actually create a quote and send it to your customers. And happy HubSpotting.